My amendments are focused on the social sector, but also the mid-market rental properties in the charity sector. Um, in short, I want to remove them from the provisions of the Bill. My rationale is that it won't help. The majority of tenants in the social sector won't benefit from the cap as their rent is paid by universal credit. There are targeted funds to help those struggling for those who are finding it difficult to pay their rent, and rents in the social sector are about half of those in the private sector. So the cap won't really help people with the cost of living, but the damage could be significant. It's the uncertainty that's most damaging. Although the rent cap may never have an effect on rents in the social sector, the uncertainty that it might has a massive impact on planning for the future. That means a cut to the house building and maintenance programmes. There are many organisations like the Gannachy Trust in Perth that provide excellent housing that are of high standard. In fact, I saw very new ones recently um, which are of very high energy efficiency and their rents are mid-market. I think those rents are effectively controlled just now. So we're trying to control what's already controlled. Their planning could be interrupted for the future and I would suggest, in the same way as trying to remove uh, social housing from the scope of this bill, we should also remove mid-market rents in the charity sector.